what happens if something goes wrong, what happens if, if it malfunctions or tips over. We have logged over 100,000 kilometers uh, in downtown Toronto uh, with no collisions or complaints reported. Um, but we, we're doing this, we're taking the roads out of the streets. Uh, you won't see uh, more robots. Um, we are basically inviting authorities uh, to see all the mechanisms uh, for safety that we have in place. The Toronto Accessibility Advisory Committee approved a recommendation to ban automated or remote control devices on sidewalks, bike paths and pedestrian ways. This as council is also expected to vote on the issue. But a number of Toronto startups like Tiny Mile, which operates a fleet of delivery bots, says the decision would put them in a very difficult situation. We're not a, a billion dollar company. We're, we're a small startup with a, we're a team of 15 people. And so we, we really don't have that, that many resources. And so unfortunately, uh, these, uh, the, the risk of, of bankruptcy uh, um, and you know, not, not existing anymore as a company is, is uh, it's very present. Not only delivery robots, but anything that might be used, say, as a, uh, uh, an assistive device for people with mobility issues. Uh, it, it precludes automated um, uh, snow removal machines. Uh, I'm one of several uh, 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 robotics companies in the GTA. Uh, I'm tiny. Uh, we're still trying to get off the ground, and it's imperative that we have uh, access to uh, test sites and 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 uh, the ability to uh, prove our technology. Meanwhile, City Councilor Kristen Wong Tam, chair of the Accessibility Advisory Committee, says the committee has a very specific mandate. So our committee did our job which was to give advice to city council that these pending robots, and right now there's a few hundred of them, and at some point there'll be thousands, if not 10,000 of these robots roving city streets. And so our advice to city council at this point in time is we don't have enough information about the technology. There's no standardization to size, how secure they are, who, staff, who mans them, staffs them. We couldn't make a decision to opt in to this pilot project because we just didn't have any of that information. They can be a barrier to safely walking around if you're blind, like me. People with disabilities uh, uh, thrive on innovations. We use some of the newest technology uh, to address our disabilities, but we wanna make sure that the t new innovations out there aren't dangerous. Ignacio saying he remains optimistic some kind of solution can be found. We would love to be part of this conversation uh, with the city and with accessibility groups. For City News, I'm David Zura.